folkways of archives, um, everything kind of turned on itself. Uh, I started to get this picture of a man who was half oral legend, half myth. Um, according to some, he was a cowboy. He picked a thousand pounds of cotton a day um, when he was a laborer. He was a Thario. He was a serial um, attempted homicide, uh, <laughs> you know, criminal. He. Um, he, he was a, a hot-tempered guy, and he was also kind of a Mozartian genius of music. He was legendary for being able to hear a song once and reproduce it flawlessly from memory. Uh, and, you know, according to legend, he could sit down and play 500 songs through without repeating a single one straight from memory. So that's Lead Belly, and he's a very interesting character. Um, but I think that the historical research I did actually drove me to some more interesting um, ideas when we look at sort of the social reality of, of Lead Belly uh, and his music. And so I want to I want to get into that. Um, Lead Belly, in that song, Irene Goodnight, he rewrote that song based on an old uh, European ballad into a waltz tune and rewrote the verses. So now it's not even clear who's writing what. And um, I think to some extent, Lead Belly clearly, uh, when he was unable to get um, Harlem audiences interested, clearly wanted white artists <laughs> to listen to what he was doing and play it. So it's, it's kind of a problematic legacy, but it's, it's interesting to examine in light of our current contemporary debates around appropriation and culture, um, who was this man who seemingly was everything and uh, also somewhat pigeonholed by circumstance. So I'll just end with that. Um, and oh, last thing. Uh, sorry, I wanted to mention uh, Nirvana's Grammy-winning Unplugged the New York album. Kurt Cobain says that Lead Belly was one of his greatest influences, and in his performance of Where Did You Sleep Last Night um, uh, is actually an example of what I was talking about. <laughs> sing in Spanish and this first song uh, is about um, when, when I, went, I was born in Mexico City and moved there from there when I was 10 and I went back No hay prueba que me puede confirmar la foto creada en la imaginación a pesar de todo no hay prueba que me puede confirmar la foto creada en la imaginación a pesar de todo quien sabe que Estuviera haciendo si no me hubiera salido de aquel lugar y no hay por qué pensar quién sabe qué estuviera haciendo si no me hubiera salido de aquel lugar y no hay por qué pensar cada decisión en cada situación tiene una reacción cada decisión en cada situación tiene una reacción y va a su dirección Y yo con mi canción no era conspiración En esa ciudad los dos la misma edad va bien la realidad in my head of what the lyrics were about because it's a beautiful song. And when I looked it up, I realized it was about a soccer player. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not only like a very poetic, like it was literally like uh, about one goal this guy had scored. <laughs> and uh, the lyrics were very like, uh, they sounded like this. <laughs> Tenemos prisa, ya viste mi sonrisa, no 
Lo vi jugando en la televisión Lo vi jugando su celebración No hay bien quien puede defenderte Don Poderán sin mucha suerte Don Juan Pared Thank you. 